Well, Jimmy, Micron yes. by Riedel. Yeah, this is part of the MediaNet family of products. Now, Micron is a little box with uh, a bunch of connectors on it and can do two things. First up, it can act as a standalone 12 by 12 video router with uh, two MADI ports. Um, and we'll talk about the, the routing capabilities more in a minute. Um, but really where it sort of comes into its own is as an interface to the Metron router. Now Metron is a fiber router. Um, I think it's 32 by 32, 10 G ports. Uh, we've got eight of those ports on here. Mm. Each port can carry six, six channels. Six, six channels of video. Yeah, of yeah. HD, SDI video. Right. So we've got a huge amount of routing capability uh, and the Metron router is only two rack units. Wow. So of course, because we're running fiber, distance is less of an issue. Mm. So if you want to use these as remote IO, no problem at all there. Sideline box. Sideline box, commentary mm. position. Yep. Um, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a big imposition to run very long distances mm. over fiber. Now, as I said, this is designed as an interface to Metron. So if you've got a couple of these hanging off various ports of Metron, you can then have them distributed in different places and you can route from any port on any box to any other port. So you could do a really big show with this system. Oh yeah, yeah. An Olympic size. Yeah, I think uh, from memory, uh, the the capability on Metron is something like 192 input um, to unlimited, theoretically unlimited output routing capability, all, which is huge. All reconfigurable in a second or so. Yeah, you <laughs> can. Uh, I think you can. You can change about a thousand routes in under a second wow. on a metron. It's a lot of processing, isn't it? It is a lot of processing. Wow. Uh, it's a very smart system. And the way you actually control it is quite intuitive too. Um, I don't profess to be an expert on video routing, but I got into the MediaWorks software and figured out how to change routing from you know, one, one HD SDI port to another. Yeah. And better yet, it's not just dumb routing either. If you've got, say, an international commentary feed coming in um, on Maddie, and you want to then embed that onto a couple of channels of your SDI stream, mm. that's no problem. You can actually route individual Maddie channels to an audio embedder for one of your SDI outputs. And similarly, you can go the other way. If you've got audio coming in on an SDI input and you want to then pick that off as Maddie and route it to your console or whatever, no problem and, there. And either. you can do all that. Yeah. But you're pretty good for a Dutch DJ, aren't you? <laughs> Thanks, mate. I, um, I try. You're very trying as well. Yes, mm. I, that's mutual. <laughs> um, so look, that's that's essentially you know, the, the basic capability. And then just to add more processing, I haven't told you about this yet, but you can make test patterns internally, oh, okay. um, both video and audio test signals. And, and your audio processing, um, in addition to being able to pick off uh, one or multiple channels, you can add Delay, yeah, and you can that makes sense. add or subtract gains. Makes sense, yeah. yeah, and it's dual redundant power supply. Dual redundant power supplies. It's um, heavy duty. It is heavy duty. Look, it's it's from Riedel, so it's very much a broadcast grade product. It's priced accordingly. It's built accordingly. Um, you know, and it's it's just rock solid. <laughs> what Good can I of, say? Good bit of high tech. Yeah. <laughs>